Hey guys, this is Chris back here with Prestige Auto. Today we're going to be working on this 2004 Tahoe. We're going to be changing out the front differential. It's making like a whining sound when you give it gas, uh, when you get up to about 40 miles an hour. So we're going to jack this thing up, get it on some jack stands, and rip this thing out. Alright, this is the sound that it's making. When you get up to about 35, no, that's 25. You can kind of hear it, but it gets louder as you go on. Listen. There it is. You hear it? So I think it's the front differential. Sounds like the ring and pinion gear and bearing. Whenever I give it gas, it starts whining. When I let off, it quits. Around 40. Listen. Okay, so that's why we're going to be changing out that front diff today. Alright, I'm going to make another clip of this sound. Maybe you can hear it a little better this time. Alright. So I let off the gas and it goes away. I give it gas and listen. I don't know if you can hear it, but it makes a loud humming sound when I give it gas. Okay, we got this baby jacked up and ready to go. We've got it on some stands here. Guys, make sure you always use jack stands. I've got them sitting on the frame, one on each side. And let's go under here and I'll show you the diff. Okay, right under the front. Boom, there it is. Looks like we gotta take off all these bolts here. There's going to be one under there in here and one like that up top. Um, go down. I have to get a light. I'll show you later. Can't see in there. But there's bolts over here just like that right there. Just like that one. So we'll take this end off. Take It's right there. Take that end off. And there's a bolt there and one up in there behind that. And then also on the back side. We've got to unhook, I'll show you, the drive shaft is right there coming out the back. We'll take off, Let's see there's a bolt there, there's one there, and there's two just like these on the back side. Take those two off, take off the drive shaft. And there's a few other things too, I'll show you along the way, but that's the, the main idea. Let's go back out. Okay, whew. All right, so that's what we've got to get unhooked and down and out. Let's go. Okay guys, so we got most of our tools set up to get going. First we're going to take this wheel off. Uh, I use my impact with some air and the nut for this here is a 13 16 So let's get that off.
okay, now that we got the wheel off, um, the instructions say to turn the steering wheel all the way to the left. So let's do that. Okay, we got it all the way to the left. Let's see the camera right there for a minute, Kathy. All right, so you can see up in here, there's the bolts to the axle we got to take off. There's six, it looks like, and they are right there, right there, and just around that thing. Okay, and then. For some reason, they say to take the tie rod off, but I'm going to try not to. We'll see what happens. Okay, so we're going to spray uh, some PB Blaster on most of these bolts. It'll help them come off. Let's go over here and get some PB Blaster. All right. So let me see the camera, Kathy. I'm going to go underneath and spray some stuff. Actually, Kathy... You're going to hold the camera. And come down here. Come on down here. Let's go underneath, Kathy. Come back here. Get on your back there and lay down here with me. Come on under here, baby. Come on under here, baby. Lay down on your back. Okay. She's coming. We're getting her under here. <laughs> All right, so here you go. Hold the camera. Don't block it with your fingers. I'm going to spray over here. Watch your face so you don't get wet. I'm going to spray that. No, don't go under it. Come this way. Come this way. Come this way. Okay, so there's one. And then right here is another one. Spray up in there. And on this side. Um, it looks like there's one up here towards the front. This is towards the front of the vehicle right around this There's a nut up in there. Watch your face Kathy. This might drip on you. Come this way. Come this way Okay Spray it on both sides All right, and then over here There are two nuts spray them Okay and then <clears throat> this is the other axle right here. That one looks gross. We're gonna spray it real good. Okay, we're gonna let that set for a little bit and then we'll come back to it. All right, Kathy, let's roll out. Okay guys, so the socket that fits to the, um, the CV axle or the axle is a 15 millimeter. And it takes those six off on the driver's side and passenger side. Okay guys, I got those six bolts off. They're 15 millimeter, went right here and around that. And this is on the driver's side axle right there. And then also, there's a little black hose up in here. I'm going to pull that off. <clears throat> Just pull it off like that. That runs up to the top. I'll show you that in a minute. I'm going to take your air compressor and blow some air through there just to clean it out. I'll show you later. Okay, on to the next bolts. Okay, so to get this off, I think we just hit it with a hammer. Let's see. Oh yeah. Just give it a few taps. And it's free. Alright. So that side's off. 
we're going to move on to the other side and take off those six 15 millimeters and it is the same it just pops right off just like that maybe give it a few taps with the hammer and then boom it's off Okay, we got this one free. We took off the six 15 millimeters all the way around, and this one just came off. To get to the ones on the other side, you can just roll the wheel, spin the wheel, it'll rotate it. Um, I had my wife stick something under the tire to keep it from spinning so that I could break it free on all six of them. So, moving on to the next step. Alright guys, let's take a little ride on back to the drive shaft. I'm gonna roll on back here. And there it is. Now this is coming out of the back of the, the front differential, which is right there. This is coming from the back side of it. And we're gonna take out this bolt and that one. It's 11 millimeter, so let's get them out. Okay guys, so I got this drive shaft down. I just had to tap it with a hammer a little bit and pry with the pry bar. Um, I took a blue bungee and wrapped it around it. I've got it hooked around the O2 sensor. It's not heavy. It's just kind of supporting it. So, on to the next step. Okay, the next step is to get that bolt out. It's right there. So it's location, it's the upper one on the differential. Here's your diff right here. This is the front side of it. Facing towards the front of the vehicle. I'm going to spin my camera around, upside down. No, I can't do that. Okay, so. There we go. You got it figured out. Up there, up at the top, is a bolt. You gotta hold both sides. Wrench on this side, wrench on that side. Break it free. I'll go find the size and we'll get to it. Okay, so to get that nut off, we're gonna need, this is a 13 16th wrench or socket. You need one on both sides. Let's try to fish our arm up in there and get it. So you can <clears throat> take this whole, this bar right here is uh, connected to your tie rod end. You can take your tie rod end off and then there's two, there's a couple bolts. It's your steering arm. This is your steering arm right here. If you go right there, there's a nut right there. You can take that off and then go over to your tie rod over there. You can take that off, do the same on the other side. And then this would kind of be opened up for you to get to it, but I'm going to try to do it without it.
Okay, so I'm able to get to it with my ratchet in there. It's getting it loose, but I feel it's starting to drop a little, so I'm going to go get a jack and get it set up under this thing to hold it up. All right, before we went any further, we put the jack under here, put a little board on it, put it up under the differential right there to support it because it's coming down. All right, let's get back to it. All right, guys, we got it free. There's the bolt that goes through it. I had to pu push up on the jack a little bit so that I could get it out, but there it is. Move on to the next one, which is the back one. Where is it? Oh, it's right, up, right around here. It is right there on the bottom side of this differential. There's a nut right up in here. See right there. And then there's gonna be one on the other side in there. Let's get to it. All right guys, this is our next spot. This is the bottom mount on the bottom of the diff. It's this nut right here. And then on the, uh, I think on the other side, got one, yep, so there's one here, and if you go up in there, look up in here and around, there's another one up in there, the back side of it, you got to get something in there and hold it, and then we'll spin this one free, alright, let's go. Okay, so I've got my ratchet rigged up on the other side over here. You can't see it because this board, it's actually right there. You can kind of see it behind the board. But it slips in there pretty easy. Put an extension on with a 13 16 That's what all these bolts are. This one and then the next step is also 13 16 but let's get it off. Okay guys, we got the bolt out, it was right there, now we're going to go down here to the passenger side all the way down this shaft and let's get some light, okay, so there's two bolts right there, I've already taken one out, it's a 13 16 right there and so is that one, alright Kathy go ahead and take that out. You got that ratchet? Put it on that top one. All right, we got it free. It's moving around. But, I'm going to have to take off this steering bar. There's a nut right there. You can come down. And there's a nut right there. So, we're going to take that one off. Take that one down there off. Because there's not enough room. And it's getting stuck in there. So maybe we drop that down. It should come on out. All right, we're gonna do it. 
Okay, so we do have to take off that steering arm and then it's connected to this tie rod end. So we do have to take the tie rod end off. This is the driver's side. It's an 11 16 socket. Goes right there. And it goes up. And then it's connected to that steering arm. I've already taken the bolts off. We're just going to break this free. And then drop those down. And hopefully it makes room for that to come out. Let's do it. So you just bang it a couple times with the hammer, kind of vibrates it out. So we've got that out and loose. Tie rod end is off. So that is how you take off your tie rod end. If you had to change your tie rod end on your vehicle, take off that bolt, tap it with the hammer until it pops up. And then, let me show you. You would uh, unthread it from that shaft. So there is a lock nut, you know, right there on the end. Back it off a little bit and then put you a ratchet right here. There's a spot for it. And then you just crank it off. And then you would put on the new one, tighten your lock nut back down. That lock nut, tighten it back to it. Put it back in that hole. And then put your nut back on. Moving on to the next step. We got to get that steering shaft steering bar off drain the fluid on this is the old differential we're gonna drain the fluid out see how it looks so under here on the bottom there's a nut it's a 13 millimeter let's crank it I'm gonna drain it and see what it looks like ew so it's black Look at all the metal shavings on the end of that nut. Ooh, what was that? That was a washer. Okay, it just went over that, I hope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It just went over that hole. But, mmm. Yeah, that stuff is burnt. Tastes terrible. Yeah, I think it's safe to say that this thing was shot. Well, we'll go pick up our new used one and we'll get it put in. All right, our front end came in. We're gonna go pick it up. And then we'll get back to the shop, show you guys how to put it in.
Okay guys, so this is what your uh, front differential looks like. When you're trying to find out which one you need for parts on the Tahoe, on the 04 Tahoe, I don't know what other models. If we go to the passenger side, open the glove box, take everything out, and inside is a little sticker. Let me get a flashlight. Okay, so in the glove box, there's going to be a little sticker in the glove box with a whole bunch of numbers on it. Uh, you kind of get the idea. One of those numbers is going to say GT5 or GT4. Mine says GT4, and even though you can't read it, it's in the second aisle. It's in the second row of numbers, like halfway down. Look for a GT4 or GT5. That'll let the parts guy know what size differential you're going to need. Okay, guys. We got the new one here. The new used one at the shop. That's the old one. Here's the new one. We're going to cut those tags off, drain the fluid, and fill it up with new fluid. And then start getting it back into our 2004 Tahoe. We've got a mess under there right now. And I'll show you the process of draining that fluid and filling it back up. Okay guys, so we're back here with our new front diff. I'm going to show you guys how to service this thing and change the, the fluid in it. This is the GT4. It's the 3.73. And the fluid we're going to use, it's supposed to use the 75W90 full synthetic and it's supposed to it says it uses one and a half quarts so and then this is the drain plug right here it's a 13 millimeter this is where you fill it back up it's 15 so we're gonna pull this one let it all drain out put the plug back in take this one out put in one and a half of those all right, here we go. Okay, so to fill this up, I'm going to use one of these. I got it from AutoZone. I don't know, it's maybe like five bucks, maybe ten. But it screws in to the top of your bottle. Just drop it in there, tighten it up. And then we can stick this in there and pump it till it's full. Okay guys, so we got it all full. I'm just going to tighten this back up. Don't want to over tighten it. Just get it pretty good and snug like that. It's full. So that's how you service your differential. This works on the rear end too. It's the same process. There's a plug on the bottom to drain it. Plug up top to fill it. So that's how you do that. Now we're going to put it in.
All right, we've mostly got it up in here now. So just to show you what I did real quick. Oh, there goes the light. Me and Kathy got under here and bench pressed this thing up into place. While we held it into place, she put on those two bolts on the passenger side real quick. And then I put the jack under it to hold support it so we could get this this bolt in I had to go from the inside in here and that's where the nut slides through and then on the outside of it out here is the nut actually the bolts on this side nut is over there now we pretty much got it in place I gotta tighten that down and we've got one more up top to do once we get that in we will bolt this axle back on bolt that axle down there back on put the steering bar back on putting it all back on is reversed the way we took it apart putting the tie rod back on and see what's up with it the reason why that we bench press this thing into place instead of using the jack is because I don't have enough room under the vehicle I haven't got a lift yet we're still working off jack stands but the lift is coming so it was just easier for me to slide it in pick it up put it up there it's not that heavy well, okay let's get the rest of it put up Alright guys, we back got the son of a gun done. Okay, so when you put it back together and you get don't forget on the driver's side, right here where this axle bolts up, there's that rubber hose that we took off earlier. Don't forget to put it back on that nipple. Don't forget to put it back on. So just grab it and shove the heck out of it. Oh, it's in there. It's in there all right guys once you got that in that axle is bolted back on let's roll on over here this is the passenger side axle it's bolted all on we put those two back on we've got that bracket back on not bracket but nut bolt that one in there and all right we're almost done now. We're going to put our tie rod back on. I am All right, guys. We about got it wrapped up, but uh, don't forget to put your drive shaft back on. Right here on the back of the diff. You got... What was that? Let me look. An 11 millimeter. That's 11 millimeter. There, there. And on the back side. Up there's one, and there's another one. Get them cranked down. All right, guys. We're driving around the Tahoe, see if we fixed it, and I think we got it fixed. That front diff did it. We're doing 40 right now. There's no sounds. It's riding smooth as eggs. So that was it, guys. Front diff, that's how you change it out. Thanks for watching.